Hello everyone and welcome to Dundas Dashboard How To Videos. This video will show you how you can create a calculated member in your virtual cube that you have created from an OLAP data source. Once you create the calculated member, you will be able to use it in an analytical report which you can then use to create analytical dashboards. Or you can also use it in your OLAP based KPIs or data sets that you can use to create performance dashboards. So to create the calculated member, go to the edit mode of your virtual cube. You can do that by going to the menu of the virtual cube and clicking on the edit option. This video assumes that you know how to set up your virtual cube. If you're not familiar with the setup, then refer to the how to video or the support article on how to create and set up a virtual cube from the OLAP data source. So once you have the virtual cube set up, then to create the calculated member, you have to use the calculations tab of the virtual cube designer and click on new calculated member. Give it a name. Let's call it total sales amount. Next, choose the parent hierarchy that this calculated measure belongs to. It's selected by default, but if you want to change it, you can change it by clicking on this ellipse button. If you have any caption that you want to give, then enter the caption here. For now, we'll just skip the caption and go straight to the MDX expression that computes the calculated member. So here, in this example, it's a simple calculated member that gives us the sum of the internet sales amount and the reseller sales amount measures. Next, choose a format string for formatting the display of the calculated member values. For example, since this is an amount, then we'll choose currency as our format string. In the non-empty behavior list, you can check one or more listed measures in order to resolve any non-empty queries in MDX. Specifically, the calculated member will be treated as empty if all of the checked measures are empty. So in this case, I will go ahead and check the internet sales amount so that it would be checked for any non-empty behavior. If you want to enter any associated measure group, you can define it here, but for now we'll just leave it undefined. Enter the name of a display folder which will be used to parent the calculated members in the cube tree in the display folder. So for this example, let's call our display folder my calculated measure. Next, the solve order is an index that determines the order of the calculations when you have more than one calculated member. Since in this example, we only have one, we, it's okay to leave the solve order as zero. So once you're all set, click on okay. And once you do that, the new calculated member appears in the grid in the calculations tab. If you want to make any changes, then click on the edit button or under actions. Make your changes and click on okay again. Next, click on save to save your new calculated members in the virtual cube definition. Now to use this calculated member to create your KPIs datasets or analytical reports, you have to make sure that you select this calculated member as a measure in your definition. So to do this, go to the definition tab, expand the measures, and once you do that, you can see that the new calculated member appears as one of the measures in the tree view, along with the display folder that was mentioned. To select this, click on the checkbox next to it and click on save. Once you save it, now you can use this calculated member in your analytical reports or in the OLAP based KPIs or data set. So just as an example, in an analytical report, you can see that the calculated member appears as one of the measures in the tree view. To use it, simply click on it and drag it under the measures. So the report modified and the calculated member has appeared as one of the measures in the grid. Similarly, if you want to create a data set out of this virtual cube, then you can see that the calculated member has appeared as one of the measure fields that you can select. Or if you want to create a KPI out of this, 
then the calculated member has appeared as one of the measures that you can select to define the KPI. So for more information on how to create the calculated member in your virtual cube, go to the support articles that you see on your screen. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact Dundas Support using the contact information shown on your screen. Thank you for watching.